It may look like any ID bracelet, but this bracelet that belonged to a soldier killed in World War II has waited 65 years to get back to its rightful owner. It's been a long journey, starting with a French farmer and ending in the hands of a brother who's now 85 years old. Army Air Force Sergeant Paul Edward Rose was 22 when his B-26 crashed over France during World War II. Almost 50 years later, in 1993, a farmer in France found this ID bracelet. And the truly amazing part is that tonight, it's in the hands of the soldier's brother in Santa Fe. This artifact that was found in France coming back here, it's almost like he's coming back here. That farmer held on to the bracelet for years, but finally, with the help of a B-26 veterans group in America, he was able to track down Paul Rose's family. They had a ceremony today at the Santa Fe National Cemetery to honor Paul and to officially present the bracelet to Horace Rose, a memory of the older brother he lost. It's really with a very deep and profound emotion that I officially give you back this bracelet. Horace was actually serving in the South Pacific when he heard the news his brother had been killed. He was devastated. Right after it happened, I would have almost like nightmares at night. It was, uh, it was always the same. I was on a battlefield looking for him. 65 years later, a bracelet that somehow survived all these years has brought a family some peace. It fills him with uh, memories of his brother, and and both he and I feel like he's 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 reaching out to us and. Maybe letting us know he's, he's at peace. Just to reiterate how much effort it took to get that bracelet here, that French farmer enlisted the help of a French researcher who contacted the website b26.com, which took the story to a newspaper in Texas. That paper ran a story to track down possible relatives of Paul Rose. Eventually, they found the right family.